are so excited because the Ember Mug 2.0 is now out and available. Deaton and I both have the Ember Mug, the first one, um, at home and we use it every single day. Now, if you don't know about the Ember Mug, we're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox this beautiful mug. Um, so first off, this Ember Mug is $99. 95. Now I know that that sounds really really expensive, but if you use it every single day, that's 27 cents a day. You're you're saving the planet, you're drinking wonderful tectonic coffee at home, so um, it's a great investment. So we're so excited about this Ember Mug 2.0. Now this mug is all about keeping your temperature for a long period of time. So if you have it on your um, on the charger, it's going to stay perfect temperature. You can make it whatever you want, and there are even guides on there to help you with black coffee, lattes, tea, whatever it is you are drinking. Um, here it says temperature matters. Temperature matters all. Temperature makes all the difference between delicious and disappointing. That's definitely true. Ember's precise control means your drink is at the perfect temperature for you from the first sip to the last. I mean, isn't that the most frustrating thing when you have a cup of coffee and you're drinking it and you're drinking it and then it's cold? Or it's too hot and then you get a few sips in and then it's too cold. I like to sip on my coffee for a very long time, so Ember Mug is everything to me. So, it keeps your drink hot. It can, you can set your preferred temperature. So, Ember Mug 2.0 has a battery life of one and a half hours. The first Ember mug had one hour only, not that extra 30 minutes, so this is a bonus. You're gonna wanna keep your Ember mug on the charging coaster for all day use. So if you're sitting by your coaster, I keep it right by where I sit on the couch and watch the news and do a lot of work. It'll stay warm, you don't even have to worry about it, but if you do pick it up and take it around the house, you take it to your office, you take it to your bedroom, and you don't have your um, charging coaster there, then you have an hour and a half of time to use it. That's fantastic. Um, again, like I said, it's controlled with your smartphone. Um, there are notifications on there, so it'll let you know when it's at its perfect temperature, so you don't have to keep sipping it, seeing if it's cool enough to drink. It'll let you know when it's at its perfect temperature. And then it's safe to hand wash, so you don't want to put it in the dishwasher, but it's nice and easy. You can just wash it out, wipe it out, and put it right back on the charger to charge. What else do we have here? This says, a few degrees better. A few degrees can make a big difference in taste. Ember lets you control the exact temperature of your favorite hot beverage, creating the perfect drinking experience. Yep, and it's just got pouring the coffee into the mug, controlling it with your iPhone, and then enjoying it. All right, so I think it's time we open up this sucker. Now this one is white, as you can see. We currently have the black mugs, but I told Deaton I really wanted a white one for home because it, it goes with my, um, my decor. So here we go. Let's start opening it up. This is super exciting. Beautiful, beautiful packaging, as you can see. And let's see, how do we open it? So I think... <laughs> we just pull it out here. A little tight, but that's okay. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and snug and it's not getting damaged. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Look at this beautiful box. Oh, I remember these from the first time. They're really nice. Um, let's see, I'm gonna need to cut through the sides here. Just a little slit there. What there? Oh, look at that. Had a little pull tab. I didn't even need to slit it. Same with over here. Just too quick. I'm too quick. Ooh! I mean, it's so pretty. How pretty it is. 
I kind of wonder about putting coffee in here and it not staining, but if you wash it every day, which you're going to after you um, use it and wipe it down, I think it's going to be perfectly fine. I believe one of my friends have a white one already and she keeps it perfectly clean, so I know it's doable. She drinks coffee every day, tectonic coffee. Okay, so then underneath here is your charger. So this is exactly how it would look. It's going to sit here, the ember mug's going to go right on top, and that's how it charges. So you can see, I have to take off this sticker, but you can see the charger here. So let's take it off. It says charge before use, so you're going to have to charge it before you use it the very first time. And that. <laughs> so see the charging on the bottom here. I mean, it's so pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this off. So we're gonna try to keep liquid away from here. I think this is what this is trying to tell us. So when you wash it, um, you don't want to wash the bottom. We're not gonna like soak the whole thing. Usually we rinse out. We kind of get the edges, and then set it right back here, where it's gonna charge. Let's see what's underneath here. Well, these are good instructions. Nice little uh, pamphlet here. Ooh, Ember, let's get started. It's got all the instructions you could possibly need. Um, it says out of the box Ember will keep your drink at 135, which is actually where I keep my black coffee, I believe. Um, but again, if you're drinking it and you're like, actually I like it a little bit hotter, or I like it a little bit cooler, you can make it exactly how you want. Oh, and little stickers. Okay, so then here is your charger. So this, I believe, I could read the instructions, but it's going to go in the back of the charger. You're going to untie this if you need to, I guess. And then you charge it, put it into the wall, just like so. Let's see if there's anything else. Any other surprises? So, get rid of all the stuff we don't need, keep this to the side, instructions and stickers. Okay, so now I'm going to plug this in, I'm going to get it all charged up and then connect it to my app. So I'm going to take the back of the charger here, take the end of the book, plug it in. I'm going to plug it in back here. So the light is blinking and it is charging. So now we're going to sync it to my phone so that tomorrow morning when I have my coffee, it is ready to go. So you want to make sure you have the Ember app, which I already have, but you're going to make sure you download the Ember app, it's connecting. Out of the box, Ember will keep your drink at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Fantastic. Moving on. Portable battery life varies by product. Enjoy all day battery life by regularly placing mug on its included charger charging coaster. You can visit ember.com slash battery for more information on that. Power button. So it's telling me here is the power button. So they want me to press it once. Pair, press and hold five seconds, light will blink blue. One, two, three, four, five, blinking blue. So now I'm going to pair this Ember mug with my app. So I'm going to click the three lines at the top left. I'm gonna to go to my devices. I'm gonna click all the way at the bottom where it says pair new device. We're ready to pair and connect to your Ember mug. It's found it already. So I'm going to press pair and connect. Ember ceramic mug would like to pair with your iPhone. Pair. And here we go. I 
have a black mug on here and a white mug now. Select a color below to change your LED light. So I'm going to pick, ooh, I don't know, so many decisions. <laughs> I'm gonna go, ooh, I don't know. I don't know what color to pick. I'm gonna go just like turquoisey color. Done. Select the device you want to control. So now I have the black mug and the white mug, so I'm gonna click the white one. And I've already got um, on here 135 degrees, because like it said, that automatically is programmed to set at 135 degrees. If you go back up to those three lines at the top and you go to my devices, I believe, click on it. So here, if you swipe, oops, <laughs> if you swipe up, you can see that there's heater off, latte, cappuccino, coffee, black tea, green tea. So you can make these different presets for different things that you drink regularly. So if you have tea every afternoon and you have coffee every morning, or you make a cappuccino in the morning and you have a cup of coffee in the afternoon, whatever it is, you can have them preset in here so you don't even have to worry about it. And then as you scroll down, there's tea timer um, for steeping. And then at the very bottom, it says recipes. Ooh. I've never clicked on this. This is fun. So there's different um, recipes for teas and it looks like lattes and fun things like that. So I'm guessing that those might change, um, but it keeps it interesting. So then let's say that I had something in here that was fully charged and ready to go and I had my coffee in here. It would say, oh, it's at 100 and whatever degrees and you would see it start to mark start to kind of tick down to the temperature you want. Same thing as if I take it off, the battery is dying and it's cool, but I think I can still drink it. I can put it back on the charger and it will work its way back up to the perfect temperature. Um, I'm super excited for this to be fully charged and to have my first cup of coffee in it tomorrow morning. And it's so pretty. You should get yourself an Ember mug for sure.